Does Santa exist? No known species of reindeer can fly. However, according to an article in the National Geographic, some 86% of the Earth's species have yet to be fully described. This is, does not completely rule out flying reindeer, which only Santa has ever seen. There are 1.9 billion children under the age of 15, which is 27% of the world's population. Santa only appears to handle Christian households. According to one article, Christians make up 31% of the world's population. That means Santa's naughty or nice list has to only include 589 million children. If we assume two children per family, and that may number may be high or low, which means Santa has to visit 294.5 million homes. If Santa travels east to west, he can take advantage of the time zone changes, giving him 47 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds to complete his trip. For simplicity, we'll round that up to 48 hours. Assuming 48 hours of Christmas or 172,800 seconds of Christmas and 294,500,000 families, Santa has only 587 nanoseconds per family. Santa has to park the sleigh, hop out of the sleigh, jump down the chimney, fill the stockings, distribute the presents under the tree, eat his snacks, get back up the chimney, get back in the sleigh, and travel to the next home. Now the Earth has 196,900,000 square miles of land surface. If we assume that Santa has to only cover 31% of the land, that is only 61,039,000 square miles. If the families were uniform distri or uniformly distributed, which we know is false, it would mean the average distance between homes is only 0.2 miles. Best case, Santa has to fly 61,039,000 miles in 48 hours, or that's 1,271,646 miles per hour, or 353 miles per second. The speed of sound is 768 miles per hour. Santa has to travel at Mach 1656. The space shuttle reentry speed was only Mach 25. Normal reindeer can run maybe 50 miles per hour. If we assume each child receives a single small gift, for example, a Rubik's Cube, which are 2.2 inches wide and 3.6 ounces, Santa's bag would be 378 feet across. That's wider than a football field is long. Santa's bag would weigh 33,000 tons. Normal reindeer can pull at most 300 pounds. Spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere experienced tremendous heating from air friction. Spacecraft has special shapes and covering to withstand the heat. Traveling at over Mach 1600, the reindeer would burst into flames and explode. The sleigh would generate sonic booms across the world. Going from zero to Mach 1,656 in less than 250 nanoseconds creates tremendous g-forces. 
1g is 32 feet per second per second. Santa is going to experience at least 58,000 g's. That's more than 7,000 tons of force. If Santa ever did deliver presents, he is dead now. Ho, ho, ho. This is based upon an old email by Matt Trask at Bix.com posted back in December 20th, 1996. I updated a bunch of the numbers and recalculated a bunch of things. I love the background. I found that. Uh, there's the link for it. It's a, as far as I can tell, it's, it's free. I checked everything I could see about it, but it's free download of the of there and no reference by reference, uh, nothing I could find saying I had to give references, but I want, I appreciate that. It's a beautiful background. So Merry Christmas and thank you for watching. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either one, I like, appreciate both. If you're new here and want to subscribe, there's a icon on the left and there's some more content on the right. Thank you.